Stakeholders in the nation's tertiary education subsector have gathered here to discuss the challenges facing the interventions of tertiary education funds and proffer possible solutions. <laughs> Without mincing words, the Executive Secretary, Mr. Sonny Echerno, defines the purpose of the engagement. We understand the significance of your collective insights, ideas, and feedback in enhancing the effectiveness of our intervention programs. It is through these shared efforts that we can drive positive changes and accelerate the development of our nation's education sector. Mr. Echono goes on to reveal plans of the agency moving forward where he blamed the CBN's monetary policy for some decisions they will be taking. The recent CBN monetary policy, which resulted in a sharp drop in the value of the Naira, has created difficulties in the payment of foreign scholarship tuition fees and stipends. And don't forget, for us, we have students who are already there for whom we must continue to pay. And while we are paying at about 480 uh, Naira to the dollar for tuition six months ago, we are about paying almost double that now, even at the official exchange rate. The paper presentations focus on the solutions to address the challenges and how to ensure inclusion in the nation's education system. In making essential infrastructure available, we must learn to be dynamic with the dictates of time be inclusive in our structural designs to ensure inclusivity, especially with the needs of persons with disabilities. Offer third form support to top-rate lecturers from overseas universities to come to Nigeria to join local PG training by Nigerian professors. Rather than you going to Harvard, to MIT, to all of this, get some of them to come here. You're going to train many more. That sending one, one person spending one fifty million naira that bring it up per year. So that's what my study one group is saying. The fund has successfully sponsored thirty-seven thousand scholars for both foreign and local programs, and has taken a two-pronged approach to strengthen its programs as it has signed MOUs with foreign universities and plans to review upwards local scholarships.